Jesus Christ. <coughs> we continue our progressive reading of Gaudete Texultate on the Call to Holiness in Today's World by Pope Francis. The theme of the chapter is being in constant prayer. Paragraph 152 I ask that we never regard prayerful silence as a form of escape and rejection of the world around us. The Russian pilgrim who prayed constantly says that such prayer did not separate him from what was happening around him. Everybody was kind to me. It was as though everyone loved me. Not only did I feel happiness and consolation in my own soul, but the whole outside world also seemed to me full of charm and delight. Nor does history vanish. Prayer, because it is nourished by the gift of God present and at work in our lives, must always be marked by remembrance. The memory of God's works is central to the experience of the covenant between God and His people. God wished to enter history, and so our prayer is interwoven with memories. We think back not only on His revealed Word, but also on our own lives, the lives of others, and all that the Lord has done in His Church. This is the grateful memory that St. Ignatius of Loyola refers to in his Contemplation for Attaining Love, when he asks us to be mindful of all the blessings we have received from the Lord. Think of your own history when you pray, and there you will find much mercy. This will also increase your awareness that the Lord is ever mindful of you. He never forgets you. So it makes sense to ask Him to shed light on the smallest details of your life, for He sees them all. Added to this as an illustration of the importance of prayer, prayer linked to our daily lives, we can have a look at the work from the from last Sunday school made by the children. It is a very colourful expression of the story of the good seed. We can apply it to what the Pope said about silent prayer. Silent prayer or prayer in general, must be part of our daily lives, both as a community and as individuals. And as the Pope uh, emphasizes, this form of prayer doesn't separate us from history. On the contrary, we are asked to link the gifts, the blessings in our lives, the events of our lives, with our prayer. And in the children's painting, uh, there are few interesting symbolic details. What I like most is uh, that around the cross, which is at the center of the sun with its rays feeding the, the good seed, our prayer, in the, uh, around this cross there is a playful dance of squares and circles, um, irregular geometrical shapes. Somehow it, it says the same thing what the Pope says, that the events of our lives 
are not detached and forgotten in prayer. But in this joyful prayer, intimate prayer, silent prayer, all the details of history are somehow marked by God's grace and love. Even if events in our life are shapeless, or we tend to lose control over things, God's order of love marks them and gently starts shaping them. And the little plant from the good seed, from prayer, is like, like history when it's marked by God's grace and goodness implanted in it by people's goodness and service to God. On, the, uh, on this plant, on this tree, we can see the plenty, plentiness of fruit, uh, red, red fruit, playful, uh, individual flowers. So, this is the effect of prayer in our life. To quote the Pope again, against the, this backdrop, this prayer will also increase your awareness that the Lord is ever mindful of you. He never forgets you. So it makes sense to ask Him to shed light on the smallest details of our life, for He sees them all.